Hi, in this video we are going to talk about how to install a long range wireless Bellbox camera to this Wooda Boss. And usually the Wooda Boss will place next to the lake. So the first thing for the camera you are going to install into the Wooda Boss, it must be waterproof. Even you can seal everything, but the moisture still can go enter into the Wooda Boss and damage the camera. Here we got a long run wireless Bellbox camera. You're curious why we have another thing, what's this? This is the receiver. And here's the camera. And we got the antenna, this is the antenna for working with the camera. And it used the standard SMA connector, so we can mount the connector. And we got the camera. Actually, the whole system doesn't rely on your own Wi-Fi, which means the camera is not going to connect to your home Wi-Fi network. It will connect to this receiver, so they have their primary Wi-Fi. That's the way it can achieve long run. If it's the open area, you can have up to 600, 600 feet between the camera and the receiver. And from the receiver, actually we use the Ethernet cable. It will be the cable connection, not the Wi-Fi. So the wireless is just between the camera and the receiver, and from the receiver to your router, to your home network, we'll use the cable connection, just the Cat5 or Cat6. This is the whole system binary. Later, we'll install a camera inside, also place this receiver to connect the router and watch the live video on the mobile phone. Okay, the one thing, you see, when the user is going to play fast, so there may no power source, how we can throw this? We are going to use this battery, this motorcycle battery. And also with the cable. The cable is decided what with the battery, we can connect to this to the terminal and got the DC tail voltage power from here and connect to the camera. And this is the DC tail voltage 10 amp hour. It will supply about four or five days before we need to recharge or swap the battery. If we can use the large one, like the 40 amp hours, you may have like 10 days. So it's okay, you can use large one or small one, just you shorten or extend the working time. Okay, now first thing is just in mount the camera to the top of the Wooda box. Here yeah, there's two screws. We need to just fix two screws to mount the camera to the bracket. And this is the one end. Also another end. Let's just find the screw hold. It's gonna be quite easy. So now let's just get the cable straight. Maybe from this way. Oh, okay. It's better to get the knock here and let out the cable. And I just use three and usually we need to use the light like screw to fix this base to the put the boss. So in order to save time I use three and it will be fine. Okay now the antenna is ready. Then let's see about the camera. You see the camera is waterproof, also there are several features. You can adjust the lens. So we can open the front cover, the cover can be open, and then we can touch the lens to adjust the focus. You see, you, you may have your own customer customized with the boss, and the focus will be different. So that's very important, you still can change, adjust the lens. The camera comes with built-in infrared, you can see the version from the camera at night. Also, there's microphone built-in at the rear of the camera, you can listen to the from the camera. Okay, let's just put on the cover. Well, there's one more thing. The camera actually is not support micro SD card, so you cannot support micro SD card to record the file to the camera. But you still can save the live video to your mobile app or the PC Windows PC software. Okay, now the next thing is just pop the camera. It's very important you didn't mix up these two, otherwise it's going to 
damage the camera. The positive is positive, and the negative need to stay with negative. Now you just connect the cable to the terminal of the camera and make the lock. This will keep the connection out of water, out of water. And this is the reset button. Okay, we will need to use this reset button. I will talk about this later. All right, now let's just move to the router. Here, this is the router. You just need to place this this receiver next to router should be fine. The router also need the the receiver also need the power, so let's just power up. And this is the terminal for power. Here we got the reset button. Then use this reset button is not used to reset the camera. Actually, it's going to integrate the signal with the with the camera. So you see the red indicator is on, which means the camera is working with the receiver now. Otherwise, you can depress the reset button for both ends. It will take a few seconds to get the signal synchronized. Okay. Now the last thing is just connect the network cable to the never port of this router. Alright, let's move to the ad. I think everything's ready. Just move to the ad. And this is the ad. Let's go to the ad button. And from here we go to the device in the land. So which actually the camera already connect to the lens. We just need to search. Okay, this is the camera. You already saw the camera? Okay, I think we're seeing the live video. Okay, this is the live video from the Buddha Post. Okay, let's just move to the robot Buddha Post and see how it works. Now, this is the live video. Let's see close. And you can see this is live video. And this is my hand, so it's worth. Right? The benefit thing for the long run is it can supply you to long runs. It's almost three times long, better than the regular Wi Fi. But you can see actually they didn't use your own Wi Fi, it's used its private Wi Fi, just the wireless connection from the camera and also the receiver. In this case, we are using a battery because we may cannot find the power source around the lake. Also, the camera is very important to have it waterproof because there's mo so many mo moisture from the lake. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post in the comment section below. See you next time.